Hello, Sophia here. Today I want to play with some 6x6 six six paper. And this package is from Echo Park. It's 6x6 six six paper called Snowed In. And there's 24 double-sided uh, papers inside. Now these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that just, oh, <laughs> this one too. I'm just, oh, I just get so excited about paper. Oh, this looks just like a nice warm sweater, doesn't it? Oh, there's such cute ones in here. I can't wait to get started on these. So let's get started. I actually have some uh, enamel dots that I purchased as well to go with the paper. Um, I've never bought enamel dots, although I have tons of other things, but these look really cute and I just really wanted something that was going to match. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, so I've decided to go with these three papers right here. They are double-sided. Um, I'm not concerned about losing this because I um, probably won't use this. And besides, there's another copy of this in the paper pack. Okay, and these ones, they're all so pretty. Like, so, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these down to three and three quarters by five inches. Now, I was going to cut the one inch off here, but um, it has the hole, so that's really just giving me little pieces. So I am going to turn it, and I'm going to cut all of them at three and three quarter inches wide. Okay, and that way I end up with these extra pieces that I can make another card with. Or you can always cut them, you know, one inch strip, and you can always use them for something, definitely. Okay, now I'm going to cut them at five inch. I need to change my blade maybe. Okay, so here are my card panels. There's three of them. Now I'm going to cut it at, I think I want to cut it just, yeah, I'm going to cut it like this. I'm going to start it in the middle. It's usually easier to cut. If you press down, go one way and then go the other way. That's that. And then this one, I'm just going to turn it and I'm just, I'm not measuring, I'm just cutting. <laughs> all right, so I turn these. I think I, all right, I am going to do this with it. Get it steady. These are uh, actually really thick papers. They're certainly not thin. Okay, so we have this one, and th this, sorry, this one, this one, and this one. So I'm just gonna take this one and put it to the back and take this one, one, two, and put it to the back. Okay, let me grab some card panels. Okay, so you saw me struggling with this paper to get it on because I wanted to make sure my border was even and it really, it still isn't, but it'll work. Um, so here's a tip. Take your pieces, cut some computer paper to the same size, three and three quarters by five, and glue your pieces 
onto the computer paper. You won't see the computer paper, but it helps you get everything lined up the way you need it and way easier than trying to get it on the card um, panel. Okay, so let's do this. So I have to apologize. I didn't realize that my camera had stopped working and um, I realized it after I put my little strips of silver on the cards. But that's all I've done. Nothing else is done. What I wanted to do now is I'm going to add a sentiment and I thought I would do happy holidays and I have them in a little bit of glitter paper as well. Um, this glitter paper. I'll put it down in the de description because I got it from Amazon fairly cheap and um, <clears throat> it doesn't come off in your fingers. It's like super sweet. And what I did was, oh god, it's glue. Um, for my strips there, I had cut a, um, a bunch of strips and had them adhesive back because it, the paper comes in, it's not adhesive back. And it's hard to glue little paper, papers like that. So these look kind of cute. Um, I think I'm just going to put, I think I'm going to put them on a little bit of foam dimension just to make them pop a little bit more.
Now that the three stack cut and shuffle cards are done, let's move on to the bonus cards using those leftover strips from the beginning of the video. The first one, which is the flower snowflake paper, I used an embossing folder from Provocraft called Snowflakes to emboss the teal cardstock. Just wanted to give it a little bit more texture and stand out a bit. Now on to the second bonus card. Again, I used the snowflake embossing folder on the black cardstock, and I also cut a silver mat to go behind the patterned paper to give it a little bit more pop. Okay, so here's the third bonus card. Again, I emboss the cardstock with a snowflake embossing folder, and I'm adding a small black strip of cardstock to the left-hand side of the card.
So just finishing up on the third bonus card. Don't they all look adorable? I really enjoyed making these. Let's have a look at the first three that we created with the uh, stack, cut, and shuffle. So beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments. Until next time, have a great day and bye for now.